Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood bringing you another 2v2 battle here in Napoleon Total War. As always, my ally is Mike and Huge, and today we're playing on Dresden against these guys over here, Sam G. Brooks and Rupert, uh, I guess Marshall, I don't know, in some clan there. But this is going to be kind of an interesting battle. Uh, we made some mistakes and our opponents made some mistakes as well and overall it kind of balanced out but uh, it was just kind of interesting and the deployment it started me off here weird but I am playing as Prussia um, because of the way Mike sets up the rules we always do max 5 lights you know light infantry skirmishers and uh, max 1 artillery no fixed no unicorns that kind of stuff uh, just because I personally still just don't like artillery. Oh no, I, you know, it's just my thing, but uh, if you don't allow people to have artillery, they seem to leave the games a lot more often. So that's what we have. We each here, well, he has a 12 pounder foot over here, um, but I don't believe my opponent brought any artillery this battle, and that did in fact hurt him. But my army, I have. We're gonna speed it up so that it is in a more readable manner because right now Mike and I were talking about what we were gonna do hence why my army is uh, just kind of sitting there like that in deployment and Mike's all set up there and now you can see me starting to set up really quickly and that's the beginning of the battle but looks like I have five Prussian Fusiliers that's pretty standard um, two of the foot guards I may have more and then all these musketeers One, two three four six of them then I've got quite a bit of cavalry. I've got uh, four Lancers, one of which is a Brandenburg Ulan here, and a Carrossier. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I decided to go with the stronger cavalry force, but I did. And then of course I have my howitzer that I showed you earlier. And now our opponent's first mistake is, while well, Mike and I are still fairly close together and there's a crossing here that we can actually use to get to each other, uh, there piece of land is actually joined and they deployed extremely far apart from each other no teamwork at all and Britain here is uh, crossing the river and at this point in time I wished I had my howitzer set up because you get some rounds into that uh, but that's that's not gonna happen luckily for my opponent but we're gonna set up in this field and have a battle right away at the start and I am running up my cavalry for the moment because he does have cavalry here and my lights were a little bit far forward uh, but they are going to stay where they are the cavalry that is and uh, Britain is going to go ahead and deploy it was just too much of a distance for me to cross in time to actually cut him off there at the beginning of the game and you can see Mike here is Prussia as well so uh, at some points I send units over to help him he sends them to help me um, so I because in the replays it doesn't show like the green circles around your men and the blue around theirs um, it'll be kind of hard to tell whose is whose but you can see some British troops here moving into this town hall that's a highland foot that he ran over across this bridge and uh, the French over here Moving forward some cavalry and the rest of their army heading for this town. They've got a howitzer back here that's going to cause some problems later on due to some very nice positioning on their part. But uh, you can see everything's lining up here. Now Britain is across the river. Uh, he has quite a few lights as well. As well. Sorry. Looks like five. And uh, he has them in tight formation. I can't remember if they spread out or not, but in a straight out fight with my guys in loose formation, uh, they will lose that. And of course, now I have my artillery coming in, and that was a pretty nice shot on those guys there. Killing almost 30, wow. It's a very nice volley from my artillery opening volley. And uh, here you can see the French cavalry just kind of causing some problems with Mike. A really kind of a waste I mean maybe that guy wanted to use it to buy time to get over here but he's not exactly hurrying and we wouldn't have been able to make it either and now I have my cavalry coming in to help 
Uh, these have to be Mike skirmishers there, yep. And you can see some of the British cavalry wasted itself in a charge as well. And, yeah, look at that. That was all from that first artillery volley. The second one being completely ineffective. So, uh, that was just really lucky there. But overall, yeah, they're routing. He's got this one Dragoon Guard left, and I don't believe anything more. Nope. And over here, he is moving foot guards off to my left. And uh, I have some foot guards here that I'm going to shuffle up onto Sir, the hill to actually fight them. And look at this. This was my first mistake. I accidentally put my general right in front of my artillery. And when they fired, uh, I killed my general. So <laughs> that's a pretty dumb one. That's, that's an awful mistake there. Uh, but still kind of funny. And here I have this cavalry here who uh, I actually forgot about. This is another mistake here. So they're going to take a few shots. Uh, not not all that bad, but I noticed those guys moving up right then, and I moved away before they really started firing. Uh, but still, now you can see I'm moving my foot guards up, though. This guy's got some cavalry, and uh, he's going to charge my lights. And at this point, I had my lights far forward to avoid straight rounds, but I'm bringing up my actual line, bringing in my cavalry. That's going to neutralize all of that. And now we're going to have an open line battle here in the center. You can see the British foot guards lining up there. My guys are going to come line up on the flank, and my lancers are going to start swinging around. Uh, these here, aside from the ones highlighted in blue, are all Mike's troops. And here in the center, I am that's actually Mike. No, that's mine. Uh, doing a cavalry charge just to kind of disrupt all of this so that I can continue s shooting. And it actually really kind of worked uh, fairly well, except my men are going to rout at 30 men. But they're going to come back. Uh, but it caused quite a bit of damage there in the charge. And here goes my general in a suicide mission because he's already dead. So that unit's really good for nothing. But now you can see the overlapping flank here. We're going to start shooting these guys down. Uh, my cavalry pushed through his, and now we're shooting at these foot guards. And my foot guards are going to line up and continue firing upon them as well. You can see I'm moving over the other ones, and I've got a musketeer unit in reserve back there as well. So Britain realized he's made a mistake um, pushing across the river because Mike here is able to support me, uh, even though... I was doing, you know, having really no problems aside from a little bit on the right flank, which we ended up winning. Uh, there wasn't all that much that was needed, but just him being there on the flank forced this guy to withdraw, realizing that pushing across was a terrible idea without any support at all. And this is going to be difficult because there's really not that many choke points. Uh, you know, I can't cross over here and then take this crossing to get on his flank. We've only got a few options. And here, this cavalry is going in just to try to stall him because we were trying to actually catch him at the crossing, uh, but that's not gonna happen. You can see this cavalry now come back from routing, which I am going to handle in a second. I did not realize they were back yet. They're like in a perfect column. But yeah, trying to shell Britain some as well as he's crossing here. Uh, my cavalry just trying to stall. You can see our troops all running closer. Our men are running. And these foot guards back here just went down. But you can see it was a pretty, uh, pretty quick fight. Pretty large one really quickly. And uh, we ended up obviously getting the better of that as they are pulling back. Getting some volleys into them as they go. Uh, but what's going to happen is he still has lights, quite a quite a few of them, and here comes my cavalry from the back, and this is going to be really good for me because he's going to actually start trying to run his lights away into the river, and even though there's squares here, I'm just going to keep charging because him running his lights away from my cavalry is it going to allow my men to line up and shoot at him a little bit more. But my cavalry is going to go pretty quickly. And on Mike's side of the battlefield, uh, my side's going to go quiet for now. 
and Mike is going to be fighting the French in this town and then a little bit of Britain but they don't really have a shot from the angle they are in the building and uh, he's currently bringing over his artillery right there to line up and shoot that building down but you can just kind of see I was happy he got the city side uh, because for some reason I'm just terrible at fighting in towns I I prefer the open fields where I can actually maneuver in the towns a lot of times it can come down to uh, who has the better unit where you know uh, you might have a foot guard guarding a choke point as you'll actually see later be able to take down five or six units so I just you know it's just kind of my preference to be out here in the open but at this point Britain's drawn a line over here uh, he still has a few lights four and I have I have two here, that's Mike's, and that might be all that's left of mine. Yeah, Mike has all these guys over here. So yeah, those are my last skirmishers actually, but they are in much better shape than his are, but still, uh, all of his combined would actually probably be able to win. And he, I have more infantry here as well. Um, you can see he's actually sending some units off towards the town now. But if I were to cross, I might be able to line up and outshoot him. But he's got some really nice units here. These are all foot guards. And uh, I've learned from experience that musketeers, you know, versus foot guards, foot guards can take out like three of them if the situation is right. And crossing this choke point uh, is definitely one of those situations. So the one advantage I do have is the artillery. And I'm just going to move it up. And instead of targeting his foot guards, I actually want to target these light foot. His rifles are the problem. Uh, they're the ones that are going to, you know, really deliver the accurate fire while crossing. If I have the skirmishing, I can force these foot guards either to come attack me or back so that I can cross and then fight them over here. But you can see Mike's bringing his units back, and I am sending half of my army here over this way. Um, so now I have got four line infantry units, one of which doesn't really count. These guys will rout after a volley, and my skirmishers here against Britain, who is moving forward slightly, just thinking I am going to cross. Um, but... I've got half my army here, half of it moving over this way to support Mike. You know, just kind of going over, hoping we can maybe get on the French flank here. And uh, Mike said he was having some trouble over on this end, because I believe an old guard comes in. Yeah, these guys later, they're going to cause some problems. But right now, Mike's getting the upper side of the fight in the town. Rifles getting shot up. And there they go. Some of the uh, Highland foot in this building. He's got two units in here. Let's see what they are. God, that's high up. Highland foot. Two Highland foot. Yep. Uh, each one's lost about 20 men, but they're still there. Still a pain. And you can see them all lined up in there firing out of the windows. That unit there is going to get cut down. Four men left. <laughs> yeah, that's not... That's not fun. But now France is bringing in the rest of his troops. Uh, he's moving in. Old Guard, Swiss Foot, and Swiss Foot, Fusilier of the Line. Over here on the left is where he is doing well. Mike's sending over more troops. He's got two Foot Guards here um, to get ready to fight all of this. But... The reason I sent my troops over is because Mike said he needed some help with all of this, especially the old guard. And the old guard unit is just absolutely terrifying to fight. Uh, you really have to get the upper hand flanking wise in order to take it down effectively without losing a ton of your troops. And in a city that's hard to do, like this type of unit is the one that is going to thrive in urban combat. But on my side of the battle here, you can see uh, this is a line of the British 
rifles that my men actually moved forward here and shot along with some artillery fire you can see the craters it doesn't seem like any of that except maybe this one did anything though uh, now I'm firing at this rifle unit because if I can get these guys to route because you can see he's clearly made like a little bowl for me to uh, march across into and there's no need for me to cross so I'm not going to and this guy for some reason Oh no, that's my attack order. I was like, why does he have an attack order on my artillery? And here he did make a good move and lined up uh, on the flank. And I noticed that and I'm going to turn my men. Uh, but I believe he's going to be out of range by then. And he's going to attempt it with this flank as well. But you can see I went ahead and uh, realizing what was going on, turned this unit. Now he's kind of moving forward his foot guards. I didn't know to what extent, but when I saw this, I decided it is uh, probably in my best interest to move back my lights, and I'm going to switch fire to these foot guards once again, and Britain over here is starting to cause some problems. He's now taken this bridge. He's got a foot guard and a foot unit there, some King's German Legion light foot, two skirmish units there. Um, and over here, he's got a foot guard, although very depleted. You can see the fight with France still in the town. This is the flank that is causing some trouble. You can see the Prussian troops back there, firing away. Um, so over here, they are meeting some success, although now... Mike has more troops coming across. He's got his artillery set up here. Um, I believe they just set up. Yep, they've only fired one volley, and here they go. There they go. They're shooting at this town hall, trying to get these British troops out of it, and uh, doing quite a bit of damage to it at 47%. The only thing is this is actually broken up into three parts of the building, uh, so he would have only gotten like half of them but still if one of these buildings go up while your troops are in it uh, pretty much the whole unit is dead let me see if I can find a better example are there any more yeah a building like this where it's only one part building if you put units in there uh, if that building explodes like you know goes down the entire unit dies it's not like they run out of the rubble uh, that's just the way the game works and probably most realistic as well, having a building collapse on you, I don't think you would be in good enough shape to continue fighting after that. These guys here are just kind of standing and watching. Those guys are standing in fire. But this is going to get ready to go up in a second, and uh, Britain's going to decide to move on out of there because he realizes what's happening. Like we've got these foot guards here now moved across the river and now Mike is bringing over his reinforcements and uh, starting to line up on this flank these foot guards here are firing that old guard still alive killed off Mike's center and pretty soon here this town hall is gonna go these guys did they move out maybe they didn't wonder if he did or not. Usually our opponents always move out. Or maybe it was after this went up that he ended up moving out. Yeah, one more round and that side's gonna go. And let's see. Oh yeah, one whole unit just died. Yep. So he actually did get one. The unit on this side of the building died. The other side lost uh, about 20 men. So that was a good volley. You can see though, over here it's still just kind of this back and forth little skirmish. Uh, he's trying to fire at my men across the river. And I see that pull back just a little bit, try to move my lights over to fire at him. And I uh, try not to shoot my own men in the process. And I believe this might actually be where we, he might have been out of ammo. I'm not sure, but I believe this might be where we take him down. Yeah, here comes some artillery. That was 
right there. And yeah, they're gonna rout. It's a very good shot from my artillery. Now this guy's far enough back that I can push across the river. And in a second here, I'm actually going to. Uh, right here, you can see Mike's got a skirmish unit and we just stopped a uh, French charge coming across that bridge. Um, you can see it kind of died off. But pretty much these here, these are all my units. Uh, I'm probably, where I had a third one, a fourth one, I mean, over here. The man of the I don't know if I moved them back or not. Ah, uh, no, here they are. All the way over here, what happened is uh, I pushed across through here and swept that flank. And now these guys are in the center of the town and I believe I moved these guys over, but I'm not sure. I might have forgot about them. But you can see Mike. Uh, Mike's outflanking here ended up winning this side. He's still got some lights left and now he can push into the center of the town. And uh, now these foot guards have the choke point, which is an excellent unit to have here. This old guard's still alive, though, and uh, was a second ago delivering some very accurate fire. And one of my units here just crossed, and we're going to start firing on the flank. I'm watching the minimap because something very key is going to happen on my side of the battle in a second. You can see these guys firing here. Britain realizes he's being outflanked, tries to run in between here. One unit's going to rout. Uh, I thought he was coming all the way around to shoot me, so I'm going to go ahead and line up like so. And then... Forget. There we go. Yeah, turning once again because these old guard are shooting at me. They're taking flanking fire as well, though. Uh, so they're going to try to scramble out of there. At a brilliant retreating pace of a walk. Probably not the smartest thing. There we go. There you go, buddy. I think that's probably it for them. Yep, there they go. So now my men can turn once again to fire at these Highland foot. Picking some of them off. And these guys are going to route here in a sec. He just keeps trying to hide with the buildings. But uh, that unit's pretty much done. The town has been won. Uh, you can see most of the casualties here were in the center, at least on the French side, obviously. And then there's quite a bit over here. And then all the mics were pretty much in these show points here. And there was men over here firing. Uh, but that's pretty much that. I don't know where the general's going. Oh, yeah kill those guys so let's see I wonder if this is going to go on ahead and go now right here I had these men hiding behind this building I'm trying to keep them alive he has rifles here we have taken the building, sir. and I moved one unit into this building the unit I had across the river just in case he uh, decided to come and try to shoot at them some but let's see at this point, I'm going to fast forward because I believe there was uh, quite a bit of a wait while we were trying to figure out what to do, and I'm still shooting at that light foot unit with my artillery. And then I realized that uh, he doesn't want his f all these foot guards here to get hit, so I'm going to keep firing at them. And they ran really far back. That light foot stayed forward. Uh, there's enough of a gap now for me to cross this river. And it's not like I didn't think I could have pushed across. It's just Coldstream guards and foot guards on the other side uh, literally will just shred you, tear you up. And here, once again, I'm going to have to move up my artillery. You can see Mike's also got men shooting at this in the town. It's just a standoff. And I'm starting to move forward because I have skirmishing. This guy here is going to uh, start, he forms a column here, and he's trying to run over to the town where he can hold off and use exactly what I said earlier, the foot guards, cold stream guards, sitting in choke points, being able to take on much larger forces. Kind of a, uh, a good, uh, you know, example for that would be 300, 300 Spartans, 
Uh, just that kind of idea. You can take on a much larger force. Look at that artillery shot. Just took out the center of that line. Now his lights are here firing. And uh, mine are going to pretty much destroy that. And then get a few stray rounds hit some of these guys in the back. But I'm trying to run over and cut him off. Uh, it's just his men are moving too quickly for quickly, sorry, for me to actually get there. So that was probably a pretty good move on his part. It's going to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, we weren't very happy with it, obviously, because, well, we had to now fight another battle in the town. But I've got a musketeer and a foot guard here. And I'm going to go ahead. I see this foot unit pretty depleted. I'm just going to go ahead and push across now. Uh, I've got a unit in this building. And then I've got these guys back here. So all four of my units that went to help Mike are still alive. And the rest of my army over here is... All of my infantry is pretty much except for the light infantry. And then obviously, by this point, my cavalry is gone too. These guys are all lined up here. They're going to make their last stand over in this kind of town square. You can see him trying to move away. I've got units here now, which I'm going to send through this gap to uh, try to line up on the flank. And I see these guys lining up. Figured I might have to fight there. So I'm lining up my foot guards that way, which, although exposing them to some flank fire, uh, is what was needed. And these guys are going to continue shooting at the foot. The only thing is this little, like, cliff here, apparently I couldn't go on, so it made me not be able to line up like that and form a correct flank. But my troops moving in on the side here and about to surround this guy uh, made him fall back farther into the town, which is going to actually allow my foot guards to turn. And we're going to take out this unit pretty quickly. And then these guys are just going to kind of get caught up in the fire and die which is good, what we want. The French artillery is still alive. So they're shelling us over there. They're in the town. You can see Britain. Uh, we've, we've got more troops, but they can still put up a good fight. My army circling in around. Yeah, these guys are gonna go. Once again, he's gonna pull back. Uh, he just really didn't wanna actually fight. So you can see now, we're going to start lining up. This unit here is going to be a pain, this foot guard. Whoops, wrong button. And I'm lining up these guys on the hillside behind him. He sees that, so once again he's going to do the thing, just kind of run in between the buildings. Uh, so that didn't work. I've still got my lights though, which I am going to try to use. So we'll speed this all up again. You can see Mike moving in on the left. This guy's got some light foot there. That's my artillery now firing in. Although the uh, town is kind of preventing me from really doing anything with that. And now I've got these units moving all the way around behind him on the flank. I've got my light infantry. Uh, they can fire at these guys. The only thing is that instead of shooting the cold stream guards, they were shooting these foot guards. Here I have my foot guards and my musketeers moving. And look at that, that was a really accurate volley on my flank. Uh, my guys were walking, that's a micro mistake. Just gonna get that really shot up. And my foot guards now are firing. These foot guards here though are very deadly and uh, these guys as well he really only has elite units left but at this point I've got these guys lined up on the flank of this cold stream guard got guys in the front um, but it's still just really difficult to actually successfully attack into these towns and these guys here are actually shooting at these foot guards because I need them to go down uh, so you know it's just really kind of a pain look the flank of my foot guard unit here getting shredded I'm bringing in more musketeers. Mike's got his artillery there. And on this side, I still forgot about these guys in the building. And I have more units somewhere here. Yeah, there they are. 
right here. They just melee charged. But at this point, uh, I've got a foot guard in the back, a musketeer in the back. Uh, you can see this whole choke point kind of deal. His foot guards just dealing tons of damage on my guys who can't really cope with it. And I'm just going to melee charge with these two units so that my foot guards can shoot. This melee charging is just going to stop him from being able to fire here. These guys here are all walking. Another mistake there, but at this point... I'm pushing in in the back, and he's not going to be able to do anything about it. And uh, all, all these guys are going. Running. He's going to go ahead and melee charge. We're going to have this unit line up and start shooting. And these foot guards are charging in to uh, kill off this howitzer unit. And this was kind of funny to me. At this point, the battle is over. Um, this Coldstream Guard unit did very well. This Foot Guard unit did well. They're going to go down. But right here, he tries to run away again. It looks like he's melee charging me, but watch this. So he's going to line up. Still taking some fire. Now he's going in for the charge. So going to wreck a ton of my men because his unit's way better. And then now going to actually start trying uh, to run through my unit and run away once more. He sees he's taking fire in the back from this unit and there he goes. He's trying to run away once again and uh, try to keep fighting. I don't really know what his reasoning behind that was but thankfully with the rest of the armies gone they're just going to rout and at this point he went ahead and quit the battle. I uh, didn't even let it finish, so regardless though, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed that. can see there, Mike doing excellently. Uh, he's going to kill a lot of guys. He loses slightly more than me though. Uh, I'm actually going to lose more than I killed, and that's mainly because of charging these choke points. Those foot guards, as you guys saw, they massacred my units just better units in better positions uh, that's fighting Britain for you but overall it was a good game there you go hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you all next time with more thank you for watching